it's Conrad's Corner with your midweek one minute entertainment review. I have a little bit different format today. Just stick with me and trying something new. All right. So I don't know about where you're at here. I live in the desert, Palm Springs, California, uh, Cathedral City uh, desert area, and it is very, very warm here at this time. And so let's just go with that theme. Instead of fighting it, we're going to go with it. And that means we're going to talk about a movie that has the word summer in it. And that film is Summer of 85, directed and written by Francois Ozan, based on the novel Dance on My Grave by Aidan Chambers. And it stars these two gentlemen here. I'm going to give you my best shot at their name pronunciation. Beaujean Vaisant there on the left, Félix Lefebvre there on the right, Philippine Verrege, who plays a third will here in this little relationship film, and a great role by a mother played by Valeria Buni Tedici. How was that? Close enough. All right, the film is called Summer of 85. Let's jump in and see what you think. Pour qu'on parle de ce que tu as fait, le juge a besoin de savoir pourquoi tu agis de cette manière. Et c'est à moi de donner mon avis. Non, ça vous regarde pas. It is the summer of 85, and director Francois Ozan takes the audience to France for a look at puppy love. When a minor sea accident happens and you're rescued by an attractive young Frenchman, what could go wrong? Nothing, because it's summer of 85 with good music everywhere. Love is in the sea air, dancing, long motorcycle rides, sailing, sunsets together enhance any summer fling until something happens. Director Francois Ozan knows how to capture the carefree innocence of first love and summer. The acting is enjoyable and the actors are easy to fall in love with. The cinematography captures the period. The English subtitles, they work here, so that is always a good thing. Unfortunately, the buildup to the bad news presented early on, and it drives the storyline here, is rather eventless. The film is called Summer of 85, currently playing probably at your independent movie theaters. I would think it's going to come to a streaming system pretty soon. Let's do a quick recap, and to do that, I'm bringing in a friend of mine who's in from Kansas City. Dennis, come on down! Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to <laughs> Conrad's you. Corner. All right, so what Dennis and I uh, went to see this movie together, and I thought, well, Dennis is a film reviewer of his own. He has a film review thing that he does over on Facebook, and it is called what, Dennis? Mad About the Movies. And there's another part two, right? Oh, yeah. I uh, review streaming, because there's so much streaming out there, so I call it Eyelids in the Stream. Right. Hello, Dolly. Da -da -da -da. I hear, I hear <laughs> it. I hear it. <laughs> All right, so we're, today we're talking about uh, Summer of 85. Let's just do a quick recap. Uh, Dennis, what did you think? Are you already falling asleep? Is that what you're telling me? I got my penalty shirt on. <laughs> the ref says... Ow, no backfield in motion. Uh, I, I just, I don't see where you come from with that. It, it was such a pretty film to watch and a pretty little story about young love and summer in France and, and first time experiences. And, that and one... it was. And then they tried to put a plot with that, yeah, that's true. which they didn't succeed in doing. No. It was a slow burn. It yeah. was summertime, but this thing sizzled into dullness. Yeah. And I, I think you're right. Oh. The, the fact that they made the plot the first thing you're going to learn about when you're watching this yeah. film and then somewhat milk it through the whole thing and then by the time you get to what it actually is you're like is that it is that all there is, is my friend take it peggy lee <laughs> it's a horrible ending and we won't tell you it no. because there are reasons to watch this film in the privacy of your own home and maybe with a fast forward <laughs> button remote well, in hand. and also i think you we, you said an interesting point that is this is a movie that steps outside of your typical things right. that you think about a, a gay film where they're exactly. they've been the, the young person's been thrown out of their house or they've been bullied or you know there's something that, that's not necessarily in this no there's just no. A, a love story and something else that goes on here yeah. and for that reason I find that to be worthy of a summer film to watch and so for that I'm giving it a yes. And Dennis, what do you give it? And I'm giving it a no way too slow. Oh, uh, no way too slow. Well, you know, as I always say to all of our viewers out there, <laughs> listen to what I have to say and not what they have to say. <laughs> no, no, no. It's all good. It's all good. So, all right. There you have it. I'm Conrad. This is Dennis. And this is Conrad's Corner with your midweek one-minute entertainment review. Now, you can go to the movies and decide for yourself. Enjoy.